Okay, so I never showed you the finished product of the telescope. Um, and remember, this is the same design as in the Stellafane website with a few differences. But I'm going to show you what I feel were the mistakes we made while building this. Uh, first thing is, notice the gap between the scope and the top of the rocker box, or sorry, the cradle. Um, that actually makes the, the scope uh, unbalanced. What I've done is I actually rotated the tube so that the focuser is not doing more counterweight to this side. So I had to put it straight out like this. Um, what I'll have to do is I'm going to put some sort of counterweight over here. Um, maybe with a, a clamp or something. I'll, I'll, I may glue an aluminum channel or something and then attach a counterweight on it in order to help balance the scope. So once I uh, rebalance the scope, I'm actually going to rotate the tube again a little bit and put this maybe at a 45 degree angle. It's easier to you know, put your eye into the eyepiece once you do that. Um, so remember, try not to leave that gap and uh, you'll have less problems than what I did. As you can see, I aligned uh, the tube's center with the center of this bearing but um, I think that was, that was a mistake because you're always going to have more weight to this side of the telescope. You have the handle, uh, you have you know, some items here that do a little bit of weight, you know, put a little bit of counterweight on this side, plus you want the focuser to be at a 45 degree angle and you're also going to have the telrad over here. So you're always going to have some weight to this side. So I would, for the next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the cradle a bit offset from the center of this bearing and um, I don't know I'll come up with a better way to um, you know to, to set to balance everything but this was a good you know learning experience um, here you can see I use shower caps to uh, for the ends of the scope um, let's take this off here here I have my collimation screws oh, I should have Forgot to take that out. <laughs> um, so these are the push bolts, and here is where uh, the you change, you know, the the pitch of the mirror, the angle uh, within the tube. Let's look at the front. Here's the other cap. You can see the mirror down there. I used a curved vein spider. Um, I actually bought this one online and I may build the next one. Um, but it, it looks really good and uh, it doesn't give you the, the fraction spikes as much. It just kind of makes it like a hazy cloud around the stars instead of, you know, having spikes. Um, but it turned out really nice. I'm very happy with the scope. And I've used it a bunch of times. So I'm just going to show you. The rocker box a little bit better. Yeah, right now it's not very balanced. Um, I use a lot uh, 2X Barlow and um, a big eyepiece. So once I install that and the Telrad, this thing is a bit more balanced. You can see that it just tilts to this side. But once everything's installed, then it's well balanced. Here you have the rocker box. You see the Teflon pads. <clears throat> These are uh, machine washer uh, legs. I just bought them on Lowe's. see here you can kind of see the the um, formica ring in there I just glued it on with uh, contact glue contact cement you can see some of the pads the Teflon pads and the shaft in the middle yeah we're playing some strange music over here it's okay <laughs> um, the handle we actually used a hole saw 
and we put, you know, we, we, we drilled twice on each side and then when, once we drilled in the middle, we noticed it had a nice uh, shape, so we just left it like that. So that's it. Um, here's a friend's telescope. Um, it doesn't work, uh, so I'm, I'm going to try and fix it up. But uh, it's a nice neat telescope and um, I'm going to try and clean that uh, corrector plate. Uh, I think the secondary mirror is all screwed up so I, I don't know if it needs to be re, um, re illuminized so I'm going to take it apart soon and, and try and fix it. Not before researching a lot though. <laughs> That's a really old ship's pulley. Uh, my grandfather found it many years ago, so it's a really cool item. So anyways, that's the scope. And uh, next time I'm going to build a 10 inch telescope. Um, should be a fun project and it will be a nice, uh, more of a deep space telescope. This one is a really good planetary scope. Uh, Jupiter looks awesome. Uh, you still haven't seen Saturn because it comes up really late, um, but in a two or three months I should be able to start looking at it really well. Uh, and I'm trying to get a webcam set up, but that's going to be a different video. Alright, thanks for watching.